happening today. We'll learn more about a former police recruit who police are now calling a serial rapist. CBS 46's Daniel Wilkerson is live. He's outside the Clayton County Jail. Daniel, undoubtedly so many women have got to be relieved uh, after news of this arrest. Yes, in fact, some of them that we spoke with say they had altered their lives out of fear, watching over their shoulders. Police say after four years of evading them, the accused is behind bars here behind me. But take a look. We have his picture. We expect to hear more this morning about this man, 24 year old Kenneth Thomas Bowen. The third police believe Bowen may be responsible for at least eight sexual assaults. Now, officers say he committed the crimes in the Morrow South Lake Mall area dating back to July 4th, 2000. 15 investigators say they linked Bowen to the crimes by DNA. Now, police also uncovered that Bowen briefly worked as a police recruit for Clayton County Police, but he was terminated before he completed the academy, so he never became a certified officer. We spoke with this neighbor who says she is relieved. It's a relief. It's a relief. Because, I mean, I'm always cautious. I try to be cautious about coming and going, but I was extra cautious when I found out about that. Police say Bowen operated a couple different ways. They say he either went through an unlocked door or window. Window. Other times he grabbed women as they walked to their apartments. In some cases, they say he used a weapon. Back out here live again. We're scheduled to speak with police this morning at 9 a.m. I will have a full report at noon. Meanwhile, I'm back with another live update for you at 6:55. We're live in Clayton County this morning. Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News.